Hello, this is Adam Griebel, and right now we are going to be doing lesson two of CSS placement. CSS can be placed in three different places in your website. In line with uh, element, uh, at the top of a single website page, or in an external CSS file. The easiest way, although probably not the most recommended way, to add a CSS element uh, is to just put it directly in the tag. You can add an inline style to any HTML tag as long as it's within the body tags of your page. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of this. I'm going to open up my uh, rock, paper, scissors demo that I created for this uh, class. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to check this out, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's rock, paper, scissors, the game. Uh, you get yourself rock, paper, scissors, and you just you just click on it, and then you kind of play against the computer in a way. Uh, you see, if you, if you don't understand the rules, you got you got your paper covers rock, so it wins. But but then the scissors you can't cut the rock; it's too hard. And then so, it, but it can cut paper. So it's you just click around, and it looks like I'm losing. So. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and quit. Um, we're just going to go ahead and open this uh, index.html file by right clicking on it and going to open with notepad. And I'm sorry if this is a little hard to uh, read. Um, the screen capture is being done with uh, 640 by 480. And uh, so it you can't quite see everything at once. It really takes me back to 19... Uh, 89. Uh, I know I got. I know I have an example of an inline. Here we go, right here. Uh, this div right here uh, is the div that's wrapping around the uh, uh, actual rock paper scissor icons. And I have a style right here, and then it what it's doing is it's doing a padding of zero, no no padding at the top, 75 pixels to the right. Uh, zero pixels at the bottom and 75 pixels to the left and the reason I just left it in here was well so I would have an example of inline styling isn't that clever uh, but the other reason is is I wanted to get it positioned just right uh, get these little icons positioned just right and it was just an easy way to do it uh, so that you know I could make sure that it looked nice and spaced and and everything. Um, uh, you just want to make sure that you don't forget your little quotation marks here. Um, oh, and one thing to note while we're talking about it is that in inline style declarations will get the highest precedence in in your cascade uh, and will be applied over any other conflicting rules. Uh, like I said before, this isn't exactly considered the best way to set a CSS style. Uh, it's a little better than the old way of just doing it with basic HTML. Um, setting all your styles this way would make your code harder to read and harder to maintain. Uh, but there are times when it can be very handy, especially when you're creating a website and you're troubleshooting a particular CSS error and it's just acting quirky and you just want to do it real quick and see if that fixes the problem. Sometimes it's handy just to do it right there in line with the uh, with the tag itself. Which brings us to our uh, second way you can put CSS in your website. Uh, CSS for just uh, one page. If you want your CSS rules to affect just one web page, you can put all your CSS in the uh, in the head of your document. And I'll show you an example of that. Right here is the uh, the CSS rules. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have your style tag here, and then set your type of your style tag as uh, text slash CSS. Um, right here we have two classes. We got a class called blue text with color blue and a class called red text, uh, color red. 
And if we want to show you an example of how you can make that work, is I'm going to copy uh, the blue text class. And why don't we, oh, like right here, we'll assign this class to blue text and save it. And then if we refresh this page, look at that. Just like magic, it turned the text blue. Incredible. Uh, so let's go ahead and control Z our way out of that one. that. Uh, and then the third way is uh, the most common way to do it and probably the best way to do it is uh, to add all your CSS uh, for your whole web your whole website an external file and that way you can just have all your CSS rules in one place. Um, here's an example of that right here. Uh, there's really nothing special about the CSS file itself. It's just a plain text file with an extension of CSS. You just want to make sure that your web page knows where the CSS file is uh, by adding a link tag and by including a link tag in the head of your web page. In your link tag, just make sure that you include your uh, your REL equals style sheet. Uh, REL stands for relation and uh, make sure that you also set just like in your style here make sure you set your type to text slash CSS. Uh, this is very important because it it tells the browser uh, how to import the data and it'll do weird quirky things sometimes if you don't have that in there. Uh, go ahead and we'll open up the CSS file here and yeah this is the styling for that whole page except for the ones that were in line. I think that does it for lesson two.